Hi, I'm Reuben Duncan, the superintendent of the Jaffrey Ridge Cooperative School District. I want to take a few moments to report out on the start of the school year. We have been in school for a little more than two weeks, and I want to thank all the parents, our community partners, our faculty and staff, and our learners for all your flexibility, your hard work, and your commitment to doing what it takes to make this year great. Preparation for the 2020-21 school year began over the summer with the formation of an ad hoc committee. This 50-person group comprised of teachers, district administration, school nurses, school board members, parents and others met over the month of July to look at research-based best practices, state recommendations, and other important documents to determine the best way for the Jaffrey Ridge Cooperative School District to open up this fall. During this process, the district also surveyed learners, parents, and staff members to gather information. These survey results, along with emails and other conversations with the Jaffrey Ridge Cooperative School District community, were also used in creating our reopening framework, which was approved unanimously by the district's school board on August 3rd. This framework has been used as the base of all district planning over the summer and will continue to be our guiding force throughout the school year. A number of documents, including a remote learning handbook and COVID-19 guidebooks for the elementary schools and the middle high school, were developed using the framework as a base. Based on all of our planning efforts, the Jaffrey Ridge Cooperative School District decided to start the year taking a hybrid approach that prioritizes in-person education. This model, where students are in school four out of five school days while being remote on Wednesdays, was chosen because we determined that we could safely return to school with the use of social distancing and other safety precautions. This approach provides more continuity for our learners, staff, and families. With that being said, we also understand that some families did not want to send their learners to in-person school at this time. Because of this, we have also offered the opportunity for families to start the school year entirely remote. There are opportunities throughout the school year for families to switch between one option or another if they so choose. Safety has long been a top priority of the Jaffrey Ridge Cooperative School District, and this year has been no different. First and foremost, the district has placed additional emphasis on cleaning practices throughout the district. Cleaning protocols specific to COVID-19 procedures have been developed and shared with all custodians. These protocols can be found on our website. The district has also implemented remote Wednesdays and set times where staff and learners need to be out of the building so additional cleaning can take place. The district has purchased a number of new pieces of cleaning equipment in order to help keep our facilities clean and safe. iWave air purification devices have been installed throughout all district buildings. These devices inactivate air pollutants such as mold, allergens, and viruses like COVID-19. To help our custodians better clean the buildings while remaining safe themselves, we have purchased touch-free bathroom cleaning systems, electrostatic disinfectors, and ultraviolet cleaning wands. Our reopening framework lays out a number of safety recommendations for our learners and staff. A few highlights of these safety measures include having everyone inside the building wear masks at all times, with breaks throughout the day, one-way hallways where possible, staggered transition times, outdoor learning spaces, and social distancing. All staff and learners have received training or education on these measures to ensure that everyone remains safe as possible. This school year will be like no other in the district's history. But that doesn't mean we aren't taking every step possible to ensure that students feel comfortable, welcomed, and safe, whether they are participating in school in person or remotely. Clubs and sports are already back in action at the middle high school. New clubs continue to be added and many of our sports teams have already had their first games of the season. We understand how important these after school activities are for our learners and their families. We will continue to offer as many opportunities as possible as the school year goes on. Our opening days of school this year focused heavily on learners' social-emotional well-being and overall wellness. We understand that the spread of COVID-19 and the detachment from social and other norms may have created some difficulties for our learners. Identifying and addressing the needs of our students is always a priority. 
This year has afforded us an opportunity to put an even greater emphasis on personalized learning by beginning the implementation of personalized learning plans. We will work with each learner throughout the year to develop a personalized learning plan that will ensure fluidity and consistency between all learning environments and to ensure meaningful and appropriate academic personalized learning is taking place. While we have made every effort possible to ensure the safety of our learners when they are inside our buildings, we have also secured a number of outdoor learning spaces. You may notice that we have a number of tents spread throughout our properties. Each of those spaces has been created to allow for learning to take place outdoors. We have also partnered with a number of community groups and organizations who have allowed us to utilize their spaces throughout the year. We would like to thank every organization that has offered to work with us during this time. The district has also worked with our food service company and bus company to ensure safe transportation and adequate meals for our families. Buses have been set up in a way that ensures learner and bus driver safety. Masks are required, learners are spaced out, and buses are disinfected after every route. In addition to offering meals in the building, we have also created a pickup schedule for learners who are taking classes remotely. We have received grant funding to allow us to expand this program to all school-age children in Ringe and in Jaffrey for the rest of the calendar year or until funding runs out. We are working to create a delivery option for meals, giving families even more flexibility should they want or need those meals. I want to thank you all for all that you're doing during this time period when the only thing that seems to be constant is change. Change and uncertainty can be difficult to handle, but I know that we can get through any challenge if we work together. The district will do its best to communicate frequently and with information that is relevant to you. Thank you everyone for taking the time to view this video.